Hey YouTube, Pete the Norfolk Chilihead, back once again with another pod test for you today. But oh no, this is not just any pod test. This is my very own first pod test for anything that I've grown myself. I picked this today from one of my jalapeno plants. Uh, you may have seen my recent garden update showing you that I am getting some decent success now with a lot of the, of the plants and pods that I'm growing. And this looks like quite a good specimen. I love jalapenos. Um, one of my favourite peppers. I know they're one of the mildest, but I just love them. I love them on pizza, pasta, whatever you can think of. And uh, I'm hoping that I'm really going to enjoy these. There's a few little sort of black markings around the top. I'm thinking that's hopefully just scorch marks, like from the sun or heat or something. Um, I ho I'm hoping that's what it is. But other than that, it's looking like it's in pretty good nick. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to be good. So as always, guys, I'm just going to uh, chop the stem off and just... Uh, crack this guy open and see what we've got because uh, I don't really trust my own growing abilities and God knows what's going to be in here. I'm hoping there's no little bugs or anything. And it's all looking pretty darn good. Fairly normal looking pod, quite a lot of white placenta around the top, lots of seeds and it's got a nice peppery aroma as well. Awesome. Here we go guys, my own jalapeno. At the weekend I went to a fiery food festival in the UK down in Brighton and they did the world record attempt for the most jalapenos you could eat in one minute. Apparently the world record is 16. Needless to say they never came anywhere near that. I think the highest they got was three. But judging how long it's taking me to get through this one, no chance. No chance in hell that you can get through 16 of these in one minute. Um, to be honest guys, I was hoping for a little bit more heat, <laughs> um, I know they are one of the mildest peppers you can get out there but I'm getting virtually no heat from it at all, um, very 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 slightly on the tongue but hardly noticeable at all, flavour kind of bell peppery I would say. It's got a nice freshy kind of quality to it and it's quite sort of aromatic in a way. It sort of leaves a nice lingering flavour in the mouth. I'm not really a fan quite so much of the super uh, floral pods. I find that flavouring can be quite strong, quite sort of uh, overpowering for a lot of things. You know if you're adding it to food uh, whether it's a floral pod or a floral sauce which has a high content of super hots in it, you know, those things can really overpower, not just in terms of heat, but of course flavour. Um, so th this kind of flavour is a lot more well suited for me personally. Uh, I quite like it. Um, but in terms of the heat guys, there's really nothing there. I mean, you could, if you're having a pizza or like I say a pasta dish or whatever, you could just chop these things up and just like splash them all over and you wouldn't feel a thing. Um, they do have a nice flavour, nice peppery flavour, but unfortunately very little heat. Um, I was hoping I'd get a little bit more than that, but you know, it's only a jalapeno, so what can you say? I mean, it's about as mild as you can get. Um, it's about a million miles away from you. Your nagas and your, your scorpions and what have you. So um, I guess that's to be expected, really, isn't it? But hey, that was a nice pod. It was the first one I've ever picked, the first one I've ever tried from my own crop. And I've got to say, I was pretty damn pleased with it, apart from the lack of heat. You know, it's a nice little pod and it's got good flavour and there was nothing nasty hiding out inside. So uh, on the whole, pretty decent pod and pretty pleased with it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll be back very soon once again with another review. See ya! Burn, burn,